This is episode 30 of the Just Ask Joey podcast. And she was like, who? And he was like, ah. And we was like, what? And she was like, who? And he was like, ah. And we was like, what? Just ask Joey. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Just Ask Joey. I'm your host, Joey. This is the only place on the internet where a former idiot answers your questions to help you either avoid idiocy or get over your idiocy. And like I always say, we're hoping for the former. Today, I'm not going to address a question that I've received. Things have been um, a little on the light side as far as topics. We've been talking about sports and politics and stuff like that. Um which are, are heavy topics, but really the idea of this podcast is for um, advice to help you, like I said, either avoid idiocy or get over your idiocy. So I wanted to go, because episode 30, this is like a milestone, um, I wanted to go a little more personal. And again, like James Altucher says, advice is autobiography. I don't answer questions that I don't have some sort of a an experience with. So everything that I've talked about has been something that I've dealt with or one of my loved ones have dealt with, something like that, something where I've had to deal with it directly. So I'm not giving you fluff and BS and stuff. Like I am somebody who has experience in messing up pretty badly. So that's kind of where my place comes from. So today, not a question. It's more of a statement. And episode 30 is secrets will ruin your life. What we do as individuals, we know the difference between good and bad. We know things you're supposed to do, things you're not supposed to do. But what we do is we hide them. We do something we're not, gonna, we're not supposed to do. We weren't thinking about the consequences or our loved ones when we did them. And instead of going back and admitting that we made mistakes and adjusting, we just keep it a secret. We tell ourselves what they don't know won't hurt them. I did something stupid, but if they don't know, I'll just never do it again and it won't come up again. Or we tell ourselves, it's just a secret. Everybody has secrets. Whatever the thing is, people do that. It's just a way of life and stuff. They just, I just won't do it again. And then it happens again. And then you tell yourself again. That's it. That's the last time. And then it happens again. Because what happens is when we lie to other people, and this is either like a direct lie or a lie of omission or a secret, we really trick ourselves into thinking that what we're doing is okay. If we, if the words come out of our mouth, I'm a shithead or I'm an asshole, if those words never come out, then maybe we're not a shithead. Maybe we're not an asshole. Maybe we have it under control. But we just keep telling ourselves these stories to make it okay. And then we end up finding out that we're just spinning in a circle. And when you have a secret or you have a lie, it's not like it goes away. It just kind of sits there. It's like a rock in your shoe or like a pebble in your shoe. You can pretend it's not there. But it's there. You can tell yourself it's not that uncomfortable, but it's uncomfortable. It's always there. And when it's there, think of each secret and each lie as a wedge between you and your loved ones, you and your family, you and your friends. You just, every time it's there, it just drives a wedge a little deeper and a little deeper because in the back of your mind, and it may be even subconscious, you may be one of those people who subconsciously doesn't even think about the secrets. Like, that's your solution to having the secrets is in the back of your mind it's always are they going to find out are they going to know who saw this who saw what what do they suspect what is this and you're always on guard and you're 
stress and there's a, there's a stress level. You don't sleep as well. You don't eat as well. Your cortisol levels are going high because you know you messed up and you weren't thinking about those people when you did whatever it is you did. Maybe you drink too much. Maybe you do drugs you're not supposed to do. Maybe you're a cheater. Maybe you're just a liar. Maybe you're a gambler. Maybe you're doing something else with money and stuff and, and you're putting your family in danger financially. Whatever it is, you know it's there. And every time you, when you carry that around with you, you're always worried, are they going to find out? Are they going to see my phone? Am I going to leave some of this around? Am I going to leave some of that around? You're always on guard all the time. And that just tears your body up. You're slowly killing yourself from the inside. I think of secrets like a cancer. Now, you can wish them away all you want. You can not deal with them all you want. But it's there, and it's going to grow. And it's going to take over your body cell by cell. And the only way to cure that cancer is to cut it out. Tell the truth. Get it out there. Why don't you do that? Because you're afraid of the repercussions. Maybe people will hate you. Maybe people won't talk to you anymore. Maybe you'll get arrested. Whatever it is, you're afraid of those consequences. So instead, you just tuck it away. You weren't thinking about those people and their feelings and all that stuff when you did it. But now, you're a hero. You're a suicide bomber. You're laying on the grenade. What a dickhead you are. You don't realize that you're telling yourself this hero story. You're telling yourself that, oh, I got this under control. Oh, it's no big deal. Whatever stories you're telling you is ripping yourself from your family and from your loved ones. You can't be 100% present with the people that you care about when you are carrying around secrets because you're not 100% you. That's a fake you. That's not the real you. The real you is doing all this shitty stuff on the side. But you don't want to admit that because you don't want anybody to see that because you know it's ugly. And instead of stopping that stuff, you would rather just keep it a secret and possibly keep doing it. Maybe not. You know, maybe you only do it once. But usually once leads to twice and twice leads to three times. And you usually deal with kind of the same issues over and over again. And why do those issues keep rising up? Because you never deal with them directly. The only way to truly deal with them directly is to tell the truth. You need to tell the truth so whatever it is, your lie, your issue, your problem, whatever it is, is out in the open in the middle of the day and everybody can look at it and everybody can see it for what it is and then you can treat it honestly. What we do is when we keep secrets, we never deal with it honestly. We deal with that the way... We deal with whatever it is we've told ourselves it is. It's not that big of a deal. It's only a little secret. It's blah, 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 whatever it is. But when that truth is out there, when you can really see it for what it is, you can actually handle it for what it is. You go to AA meetings. You go to a therapist. You read books. You discuss it with your partner. You discuss it with your friends and family, your parents, your kids, whatever it is that your issue is. You can't deal with it honestly and effectively unless people know the truth. So the best thing that you can do, and it's not easy, and it's going to hurt you, and it's going to hurt them, is to tell the truth and come clean. You've put this ball and chain on your ankle, and you're dragging it around. It makes it very hard to truly walk with the people that you care about with this ball and chain on you. And you may not see it, but they feel it. And you may not tell them, But they know it's there. They know the real you. They've seen the changes. They know something's up. Maybe they know exactly what is up and they're just not telling you. But they know something's wrong. They know there's secrets in there because they can see it. They can see the darkness. They can feel the cancer. Cut it out. That's the best thing you can do. Stop carrying it around with you. Stop denying that it's there. Stop pretending that it's something that it's not. Deal with the repercussions. The worst case scenario, there are going to be people in your lives that you'll never talk to again. And that's okay. Maybe they're, maybe they're not willing to give a second chance. That could be on them. Maybe they've given you a second chance before and they don't want to deal with it again. It doesn't matter. The, the fact is you need to give them the opportunity to know the real you. 
And usually these types of things are not the real you, but they're what you have allowed yourself to become or they've allowed yourself to do. You may not be a bad person, but you are right now. And you need to admit that. And then you can deal with this bad person aspect of you. Maybe you're like 1% bad. Don't let the 1%, the 1% can drag down the 99%, okay? You have to admit that. You have to see the gravity of the situation that you've put yourself into. And you need to pull yourself out of it by telling the truth to everybody and then dealing with it. The best case scenario is you will, you know, the best case scenario is getting punched in the face or kicked in the nuts. Or if you're a girl, punched in the boob or something. I don't know. I don't know what the equivalent is for a girl. And then you deal with the anger, you deal with the feelings, the real emotions, and then you heal and you heal together and you heal stronger than ever and better than ever and your relationships are better. You know you're dealing with yourself better. You're a better version of you than you were before. That's what you have to do. You have to tell the truth. And... Like I said at the beginning of this, advice is autobiography. And I have been on the wrong side of this advice before. That is why I feel comfortable giving you guys this advice now. Because I've been there where I had secrets. And I've been there where I was telling myself lies to make that secret okay. It's not going to happen again. Maybe it's not a big deal other people do it as long as they don't know it's not going to hurt them all i've told myself all those things and nothing in my life has been more difficult than when all those secrets came out that was one of the worst days of my life but ever since then ever since hitting like absolute like rock ass shitty ass bottom my life has progressively gotten better every single day since then. And that never would have happened without the truth. So give yourself the opportunity to have that. Give yourself the opportunity to have an honest relationship with yourself, with your loved ones, with your friends, with your family. It is an amazing feeling to walk around with nothing following you. There's nothing more gratifying than taking that chain off and never putting it back on. Never having to look over your shoulder. Never having to check your phone. Never having to check your bank statements. Nothing. You are free and clear because the truth is out. You're being honest. You're living a clean life mentally, physically, emotionally. There's nothing better than that. Put down the secrets. Set aside the lies. Tell the truth. And live your life. If you guys have any other questions about this stuff, you want to discuss it further, you want to talk about maybe something that you need to tell the truth about and you're afraid to and i understand that's probably a pretty personal question but sometimes it's easier to go personal with somebody you don't know and kind of practice it and discuss it and i've totally been through the hell out of this so find me on snapchat instagram uh twitter facebook the links are in the show notes give yourself this opportunity it is a, it is scary as crazy. It's like saying, hey, go run into that wall. I promise it will be better. It sounds nuts, but it's really better. And really, you should give yourself that opportunity. So find me on the social medias um, and really think about it. Really think about giving yourself the opportunity to have honest relationships, to be honest with yourself, which is the most important because you can't have an honest relationship with anybody else unless you have an honest relationship with yourself. So I'll talk to you guys soon. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. And we'll see you for episode 31. Bye.
And she was like, huh? and he was like, nah. and we was like, what? Go, go, go.